When we add more blades to an agitator, typically flow rates increase. This video is cut in half so you can observe how the two agitators perform. Even at slow speeds, the difference in flow is clear. Though more blades promote more agitation, since this agitator type is high shear, it will also create more contaminants and damage hash. The difference between a 3 and a 5 blade agitator is drastic. Notice the velocity of the particles and notice the dramatic difference in turbulence at the interface. Though velocity is the same, power and torque requirements change for these agitators. The vortex generated by the 5 blade agitator is also significantly greater than the 3 blade version. Now that we understand the relationship between number of blades, let's test the theory that rounded corners in a square tank improve agitation. It's easiest to see agitation at the interface, which is where our floating biomass naturally agglomerates. Notice the interface of a square tank with square corners using a 5-blade agitator. Now let's round out the corners on the tank to determine if agitation improves. Note that the vortex on the tank with round corners is greater and notice the smooth flow at the corners. CFD simulations suggested square corners would be more turbulent at the interface with more velocity gradients. These simulations are clearly verified in this example. Velocity gradients promote biomass rubbing onto each other, promoting dislodging of trichomes. How does a 4-blade, 65-degree agitator designed for a square tank with round corners perform? Even at the high speeds recommended by the manufacturer, turbulence at the interface is moderate. Turbulence and velocity gradients are what promotes separation of trichomes and is critical in the process. You can clearly see how a 5-blade agitator outperforms the agitator designed for this tank. Unfortunately, the 5 blade agitator is a liability due to its high shear properties. We do like that the 4 blade agitator does not produce such a strong vortex, which promotes biomass reaching the agitator. We believe this is because the agitator does not have the power to agitate the tank as required. This is a known issue in this system, which we have discussed previously. Research with computational fluid dynamics and models like these helped us achieve this patent-pending flow pattern. Notice how fast particles travel on the mescalatoris agitator. Even at these speeds, shear is comparable to the 4-blade agitator. Notice two distinct agitation zones, an upper and lower tank sections. 
The bottom part is designed with trichome settling velocity in mind. Trichomes are allowed to settle and exit the system via the false bottom not pictured here. Note the interface and how the mescalatoric causes more turbulence and less vortex even though it is closer to the surface.